concerns for athletes. 24 Hour News H. Jack Doles joins us live from East Grand Rapids with news of what a couple of concerned mothers are doing. Jack. Jocelyn Leonard and Charlotte Tetzloff Simpson each have their own reasons for the missions they pursue, but their goal is the same keep student athletes safe. And in the event something goes wrong, give them a fighting chance to play just one more game. On her wrist sits you know, a bracelet wrote, with a wish. Saying, you know, just one more game. Jocelyn Leonard would give anything to see her son Wes play one more game. My son would have had a great senior year this year. Great. He had college coaches recruiting him in football and basketball. Wes was a tough as nails quarterback with a rifle for an arm. On the basketball court, he was a handful. An all-state performer, Wes led Fenville to a perfect 20-0 record. In his hometown, his legend was growing. But the world didn't get to know him until it was too late. Until he collapsed and died just minutes after he hit the game-winning shot in overtime of the Blackhawks' final regular season game. In our case, it wasn't a car accident. It wasn't, it wasn't cancer that we couldn't solve. It, it, was, um, it was something we weren't ready for and we didn't understand what we were seeing. Wes's heart had stopped. With no AED in the gym, they weren't able to save his life. You kind of just shake your head because, you know, I won't ever coach again without one. I won't ever teach again without having one in, in or around my uh, mm -hmm. physical education classes. It's, uh, it'll be something that I'll, I'll never be able to move past or move beyond that we didn't have one that night. The Fenville High School boys... Wes's tragedy and the Leonard's pain touched a nerve with people all over the country. If it could happen to him, a big, strong, athletic kid, who else could be in danger? Because I knew what happened to Wes, I just was like, I have to get it done. I have to have that peace of mind out there and know that he's okay 100%. Couple steps and kick. Even though her son Mason had already passed the physical and then cleared to play, Charlotte Tetzleff Simpson dragged him to Muskegon's Mercy Health Partners for a heart screen. Didn't want to go at all. Why not? I was afraid they were going to find something wrong. They did. The heart screening showed Mason had an abnormal heart rhythm. I got sick to my stomach and I got upset. As soon as we found out, they said that I had to stop all activity because they weren't sure what I could do. Mm -hmm. So I thought instantly, there goes my senior year. Fortunately for Mace, there was a cure. He had an outpatient heart procedure this summer. Now he's back in the weight room and back with his teammates. His senior year salvaged. Isn't that great? That's great. It means a lot. It means a lot that I can wake up and kiss my son and I can watch him on the field. Um, but I don't think there will be a game that I ever watch him that I don't think about those kids and those parents that didn't get one more game. One more game. Ultimately, that's Jocelyn Leonard's mission, to try and give every kid the one thing her son, Wes, was deprived. The thing Mason received. What if he continued to play Dizzy? And, you know, what if that next spell, his heart just stopped? Well, hopefully Muskegon would have been ready. Um, but what if they weren't? Or what if they didn't understand what they were seeing? Good news. Lord willing, they'll never have to find out. But on the chance it happens again, Jocelyn wants to make sure that every school in the state is ready. Uh -huh. Especially Fenville. That's her youngest son, Mitchell. He's quarterbacking the JV team this year. Jocelyn takes comfort knowing that at every Fenville sporting event, home or away, there will be an AED close by. We now have nine here, and that's our heart team. I mean, we went from one working one that wasn't in our building to nine, and it's not overboard. It's literally, can you get to it in a minute and get it back in a minute? And that's what we figured out we needed for our district was nine mm -hmm. to, for saves. If, if you don't want to pretend to save people, okay, then have one because you aren't going to do it. Jocelyn says the cost of an AED, a lot of people are surprised to find out, is just $1,400.
if your school doesn't have one, you can go to westleonardhartteam.org and they are trying to make sure that every school gets one. They'll help you get funding. They'll help you find a way to get one in your school in, in the event that something happens that happened to Wes. Uh, Charlotte Tetzloff Simpson, her mission is to make sure kids go through that extra step to get their heart tested to, to make sure that they get a fighting chance just like her son Mason did. Live in East Grand Rapids, Jack Doles, 24-Hour News